guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another vlog. One that I didn't think I would be filming quite so soon, but I am doing something extremely spontaneous, potentially slightly bonkers. And I'm actually running late, shot Cora, but Sonique is just about to be going on an extremely long road trip because <laughs> two, one, two is about to become three. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening and let alone happening today. It literally is Monday, bank holiday Monday. Um, I need to move these because I need to get on the road. But yeah, literally returned from Emily's wedding weekend this morning, which was absolutely sensational. The most perfect day, well, the me most perfect weekend. We had Friday, Saturday, Sunday up at the barns at Pingeli where she got married, which was absolutely glorious, truly magnificent, a magical, everything she could have asked for and more, which obviously I'm sure she'll be sharing about more on her social channel. So I won't go too in depth, but yeah, it was, oh yeah a very very emotional and lovely and heartwarming weekend as you can tell a little bit husky so not going to talk too long but very excited to potentially fingers crossed be introducing you to the newest member of our family in this video now i say potentially and that is because i haven't ridden him yet so I'm praying that he is what I expect. Um, and I'm not really sure how much to say or share about him prior to meeting him because I have met him before. I just haven't ridden him before. And I feel very excited and honored to have been offered the opportunity to bring him to my clan and for him to form a bromance with Banksy and obviously hopefully a nice relationship with me and little legs too. But like I say, I'm going up a little bit blind so to speak because I haven't actually sat behind his ears so fingers crossed that all works out for the best when I do bright and early hopefully tomorrow morning but for now I need to get on the road get up there and yeah fingers crossed it all goes well and I get to fully embrace this opportunity that I have very kindly been offered but I'll tell you a little bit more when I get there because at present I feel like I'm being a bit cryptic and I don't want to be cryptic I also don't want to be late so got to get these kayaks out because I forgot they were in there get on the road and then I will see you when I have a lovely steed who is 100% not your replacement but just allowing you to lessen your workload slightly my boy and I'll give you a little clue guys you might be twinning a little bit <laughs> in here though and my husband is at golf so he's not here to help me I yeah definitely should have allowed a little bit more time because I'm also very conscious that the traffic leaving Cornwall on bank holiday Monday isn't going to be the kindest this honestly is all feeling very surreal guys because as I said and I know that I say the word spontaneous a lot, but it has been quite a spontaneous decision to progress with what I will call this fabulous opportunity at the speed at which we are progressing at. Because initially I wasn't going to go up till next weekend, but now, oh God, I'm out of breath. I have decided, or we have decided, to strike while the iron is hot. That's the right lingo. And yeah, whilst the opportunity is there and we're both extremely excited about it, crack on, get on with it and yeah, live for today. That's the one, live for today. So Laurie is being shut up. I'm getting on the road and I will see you when we get there. Thankfully my lovely mummy is coming with me, but as I say, it's quite a long drive. So I have booked us some accommodation for on route so that I can catch up on some much needed sleep after a busy weekend and then tomorrow all being well I will make the long trip home with fingers crossed a new four-legged fur baby in Sonique not doing a good job of this one-handed am I oh, 
Hello. Saying that you're being my voice because I've got no voice. Hello. Did you hear I'm Tina's voice because she's got no voice? Where are we in the world? No, in the country, Mum. Because I haven't explained that. You're not pointing at... Yeah, you are pointing at me, but I need to concentrate. So if you could point back to yourself. Where are we in the world? Because you're being my voice. Where are we in the UK? Because it's brought back childhood memories for you, isn't it? Ah, that's what she's getting at. So, I used to live in Hampshire and Surrey, and so it's bringing back childhood memories of travelling, particularly as we go up the M3, towards Heathrow Airport actually, because we lived in Farnborough, Hampshire for quite a while, and my dad would take us to Heathrow to watch the aeroplanes taking off. Um, and I would run around and around the little booths. I don't know what the booths had, probably telephones back in those old days. But because I was running around on the carpet, I would get static electricity and make big, noisy, bright sparks fly off these <laughs> booths. And I'd always be told off. But I didn't know that's where we were going. I think we were just explaining that you used to live here. But <laughs> actually, where we're going is not Heathrow. So. Do you actually know where we are going? Have I told you? Ah, uh, do I know? I don't know if I told you. I just just encourage you to come with me. Well, I dragged you along. I was really just asked to drop everything I had planned and accompany Tina on a mystery tour. Um, because I had a very exciting opportunity. Can you hear her? No, probably not. Because she had a very exciting opportunity to add another ponyo to my clan. Did you hear that? <laughs> to add another ponyo to her clan. Well, first of all, I thought, as the mother, what is this pony? I hope it's not a buckaroo. <laughs> it's a long way. How far are we going to carry? Then you had a conversation with Meg at the wedding where she told you it was a buckaroo, just to wind you up. <laughs> yes, Meg, thanks for winding me up about how safe it was, because she said, Mum, you'll be able to ride it, I should think. <laughs> well, and then I'm thinking, the bank holiday, do I really want to sit in a horse? Well, it's like a limousine. It is. It's a limousine. Thank you. Equitrack. Equitrack. I'm sitting up. I'm looking down at all the people with a royal wave. And, um, which is quite appropriate because we are considering staying at Windsor tonight. We are. Because it's en route. So, where are we going to end up? That's your guess. That is your guess. We aren't spilling the beans yet, but I would imagine a lot of people have skipped this part of the vlog and gone straight to see the new pony. Oh, straight. How do they Comment know? Comment below if you've actually stayed and watched it in order or skipped forward and seen the new recruit first because you haven't got any patience. <laughs> How would they know? Have I don't you? know, but I don't think my sat nav's taken me the right way, so we might need to... Um... I thought you'd decided to stay here, because there's a rather posh-looking pup here, the Holly Blue. Oh. There. Um, no. Okay, I'm over and out. I'm actually finding a Sainsbury's fuel station, but I don't think it's taken me the right way, so yeah. Over and out until we find somewhere to stay. And see, fuel. see you once we got the pump in there. Oh. Oh, and Mum suggested that we stay at a hotel called the Prince Albert. Well, it's, it's royal. <laughs> royal Windsor. See you later, alligator. Bye. So it's the next morning and we've just left the M25 and we were driving through a beautiful part of... What county are we in? Essex. Ep oh, Essex. Epping Forest. And I thought it looked very beautiful. However, Mum didn't manage to turn the camera on quick enough to film it. That actually sign there did just say Epping Forest as well. It looks lovely and I feel that for those of you... Is it recording? Yeah, it's flashing red, but you're meant to be in charge of that, not me. I'm in charge of um, watching people walk over the Pelican Crossing. Didn't film anything more last night because I wanted to try and preserve my voice a little. Didn't really work. Um, but for those of you that are being very well behaved and watching this in a chronological order, is that the right word? It is. <laughs> and haven't skipped straight to see what the potential new pony looks like or who it is, I'm going to give you a little sneaky clue. So, we're in Epping Forest and I've met this pony before and at the time I wanted to take him home with me. He's not a pony, he is bigger than 14-2. 
we just call them all ponios, don't we? Um, I met him at Talland when last year I was filming the All Star Academy and out of the eight contestants, this one, contestants and their ponios, this one was the one that I so would have loved to take home. So when this opportunity arose last week when I saw that his owner had put a post up saying that he sadly felt he needed to sell him or might want to sell him or look for a potential new home for him I literally messaged him straight away I was like oh my goodness I'm such a strong believer of everything happens for a reason I wasn't actively looking to buy a horse when I bought Banksy I wasn't actively looking to buy a horse when I bought Buddy I was fortunate enough that I managed to loan and try both of them out for quite substantial periods prior to agreeing to buy them and fingers crossed all being well and everything going smoothly today that is the same as what is going to happen with this pony although in one mile turn left onto marketplace one mile turn left there's no guarantee that i will actually buy it we may purely be loaning him so it's a discussion that we will be having once we see how well we get on but yeah it was pretty much love at first sight when i initially met him so fingers crossed sitting behind his ears feels the same as i anticipate it being so yeah i'm excited but i'm trying not to be i've got to go with my head not my heart is that the right way of saying it yes yes and that's why mum's come along because it's such a long trip i wasn't going to drive up and then go home and then <laughs> potentially drive up again in a few days time so <laughs> i'm excited and i hope fingers crossed everything turns out hunky-dory and exactly how we want it to so yeah i'll introduce you to his lovely owner and his gorgeous face very very soon in approximately 10 miles meanwhile take a look at this lovely Turn country it time. is lovely i'm glad we came off the m25 earlier early so that we got to sorry we just nice looking. Views. i know <laughs> Very nice. You can't actually. Where yeah. actually are we at the moment? Stapleford Abbots, Chipping Ongar, Woodford, London. We're very close to London. Okay. I mean, I know it's not a long way up, but where am I getting on? <laughs> oh, you'll chuck me up. Yeah. Okay. Meet Louis, everybody. I mean, most people that follow me have probably already seen him on the All Star Academy. But Tommy, come in. Are we, are we emotional? No, 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 no. no, no. Do you want to give people your reasonings for potentially let trusting me with your lovely steed? I'm having like an early midlife crisis. That's oh, what it is. Yeah, is that how we're phrasing <laughs> yeah. it? So next Sunday's my 29th. So my last year, my 20s. I just want to live a little Are bit. Are you scared um, of becoming 30? No, I just don't want to become fun, 30 and be like you. still on the nipple. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, <laughs> <laughs> my Mom's dad, in the background here, guys. <laughs> my dad says it all the time that I'm still breastfed. So. Oh, is he a mummy's boy? Yeah. <laughs> no, so, she doesn't want to. Mum. No. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just need to like grow up and have a little bit of adult time. Fly the nest a bit. Yeah. But also not at all. <laughs> but not at all. <laughs> no, never. No. I don't know, there's a stable he could live in. <laughs> so yeah, just while I've lost a bug for it, it's no point in living in a field, is there? So, And I trust you to have fun on him and teach him good things. And, and do you mind, just in case people don't know, telling everybody a little bit about his background? Because he's a very yeah. special boy, which is why you're not initially... No, not you, saw, you put a post up which made me think, oh my goodness, don't sell him, don't sell him. Yeah. Or if you do sell him. <laughs> yeah. Um, because he's very, very special for many reasons, isn't he? But yeah, so I rescued him as a two-year-old coming up five years ago now. Uh, I initially got him for my niece to ride and then obviously he got bigger and bigger and bigger. So <laughs> I broke him in and then decided actually he's really good fun. And um, yeah, since then we've been on quite a journey, done some cool things. And that's how I met Tina. Including the All-Star Academy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, yeah, and so that's why I would let Tina loan him rather than anyone else just because I know that she's going to go and do exactly. great things. Exactly and if you do change your mind and miss his beautiful face you're welcome to have him back at any point yeah. or come on holidays to Cornwall and spend time with him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Have you got a spare room? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah he can maybe move I'll, in with maybe you. Maybe we'll move out. <laughs> yeah come and live in Cornwall yeah, for a year it. with us. That's it. I mean anything's yeah. possible. But I need to ride him first to make sure. Yes, I need to ride away. I need to ride him first to make sure we click. But fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I mean, I've seen you I'm riding sure you him will. and having great fun with him. So look at how the sleepy though. Look at you. Oh, come on then. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah, maybe I'll stay here. Yeah, Sorry, thanks. <laughs>
Oh, this is good. This is looking nice on him. Fine. Are you a three person or? Oh, we can go on three? Yes, please. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fabulous. Oh, he's raring to go. <laughs> Do you want to look okay? Look perfect. Don't look too big? No. Up to you look too big. Remember I ride him. <laughs> Oh, he feels lovely. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't feel like a pony, though. No, it's when you said he's six foot three rug, I was like, oh, that's yeah. the same size as Banksy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's just a little bit shorter. I mean, if he did have shoes on, you'd be half an inch higher. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm heading down. Images. Yeah, we can go straight down there. And then... You're very photogenic, yes, we know you like being <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Come on, then. Have a good ride. Thank you. Here they come. That, was, that wouldn't need a lesson. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, he's so happy and he's just like... And he's munched. Although he's, yeah, he has tried to eat everything along the way. I was like, he knows I'm soft. We were just bringing you to see the school was free. Oh, amazing. Yeah, thank you. And I can't help but be just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? I'm suddenly very excited If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would And he's going to remember he's not fit Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Shorter range Longer, I would for the minute, yeah And just quite playful but soft, that's it yeah. And slow it slow him right down, that's it. Stop looking at his neck. Yeah. That's it. With you everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on. Yeah, that's it. Just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feel like my son was just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I've got a hot seat! It's really exciting! Forever Forever <laughs> oh my god, he's too cool. <laughs> like, shout on me. That's fine. Ah, keep your leg on. Yeah, the base. It's seat. not leg, it's seat. Okay, sit, sit down, really, down back more. Yeah, sit really deep. That's it, so sit really tall, really deep, playful hands. Yes. That's going to take some practice. Yeah. Yeah. But I would slow him right down in the chop before you ask for your canter so that you can sit really deep to him. Okay. Yeah. Then just ask. Yeah, and now just keep playing with the bottom finger. Play, 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 that's it. Keep your leg round, keep your seat on. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, there you go.
as I said, he might go fast, but you're going over it. Sorry. Good. That's all right. And then sit him right back on his hocks if you can. So lots of leg. Sit him up. But although he's soft in the mouth, with this, don't be afraid to go, right, wait now. Because he does get a bit big for his boots. Uh, again, he's not going to do anything, he just doesn't jump properly. Sorry, I have got a hot seat. <laughs> so I'm guessing you don't want him now. I'm going from an Aventa to a BS rider, I think. <laughs> to a, a JA. Yeah. <laughs> don't get away from under 70. Uh, yeah, no, he's coming home with me, if that's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. That's Are you happy? Fine. Yeah, yeah. Over the moon. You want to come and give me lessons, don't you? No, you know nope. Cam. I'll get Cam to speak to you about how he needs riding. No, nope, you work it out, because again, I ride completely different to you. Yeah. So you work your own buttons, it's just... One of those things, it's going to take your time, but that's not bad considering <laughs> you, you don't ride things he's like so this. Cool, like you say, he's going. Yeah, yeah exactly. You've just got to sit him back and make him wait a little bit. Yeah, but, but with fitness, that'll come. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And with a saddle that's not. Right. <laughs> yeah. At the minute, he sort of has to launch to get his fat belly over it. <laughs> but no, as, oh, as long as you're happy. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's okay. I promise to look after him. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> I'll walk him off my hand. Yeah. Probably benefit that me on him at the minute as well, couldn't oh, I? I thought your mum was coming to have a go then. Oh, are you, mum? <laughs> Save walking him off by hand, get mummy on board. I thought it might take a week or two, not the same day as picking him up. <laughs> Keep him moving then, he needs to move to walk him off. Well, to your leg, did he? <laughs> we'll put the jumps away, or jump. Hey? Oh, yeah, you can see once he's had a clip and a trim up, he'll look a bit leaner. Once his tummy's been worked off a little bit. Yeah. A bit like me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well done, Mum. You've got your phone in your back pocket. <laughs> when did you last sit on a horse? Long time. Have I got to change the name on the loan agreement? <laughs> nah, no, she's not having him. <laughs> we might be signing contracts That's in the background spin. because he's coming home with us. I mean, we were 99.9% .9 sure you would. And your moustache has made it guaranteed. <laughs> oh, he's so lush. I'm so excited. And mum's excited too because she had a little sit, didn't you, mum? Absolutely. I think he's coming home to let me get back into horses no, again. Yeah, you can start grooming them I and brushing their tails team. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. To groom. Yeah, for you to learn how to plait. <laughs> no, we're very excited. Thank you, Tommy. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really. I'm very really grateful. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Big, so he's mine for 12 months. Yeah. But you can have him back, or you can come and ride him at any time you like. Well, not tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All right, you yeah, can't have him back tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's very exciting and we'll sure, have a lot of fun yeah. and it gets, allows me to lessen Banksy's workload slightly and you to go and enjoy being a 29 yeah, year old wild. for 12 months. Yeah, 29 go years wild. <laughs> follow Tommy if you want to follow his antics. I hope you keep your page going. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to put your pictures on there now. Oh, so I'll have send loads. you them. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. But we want to know about your going wild antics too, like the PG ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not going to be many of those. Oh, and I'm... <laughs> yeah, my little niece has made you something. <laughs> I'm excited to open this. Oh, am I going to cry? I've had a lot of tears already this weekend. Hey? Sunglasses on time. <laughs> the illusionist. Coming home with me? Uh oh, don't eat it, you'll be in trouble. You'll be in trouble if you eat it. <laughs> wow, what an artist. Oh, how beautiful. That's so beautiful. How old is she? Seven. Wow. 
That is incredible drawing. He's got bored and sandy already. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Do Tina, good luck with our special boy. I hope you have lots of fun together and you make just as many memories as we have. <laughs> we can't wait to visit, yay! So she's gonna come down. Thank you for looking after him, love from Avery. <laughs> I part wish she was here, but part think that would be far too emotional too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, well, we, we hope we do you proud and we'll definitely be looking after him, won't we? I'm very excited and feel very lucky. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Mum. Oh, bless Ava, thank mom you. Mum didn't want to. No, Mum doesn't Mum don't want to be on camera crying, but there's a few tears going on in the background, but ha hopefully slightly happy ones too. Thank you. Honestly, you'll see about him every day. Yeah. Every single day there'll be posts, won't there? And we know that he'll be very much loved and looked after. And I think Banksy's going to love him too. Yeah. I'm sure. Funny. And Bertie. I can see Bertie I coming in. I can see Bertie in. loving him. Him and Bert's will end up sharing, sharing a bedroom. I've got to convert my end stable back into a stable and not a cat shed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three stables, but I we did, did offer. have three cats that lived in the end room. Sadly, now I only got two. Mwah. Right, should we get you loaded up and ready for the long drive home? <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, I've heard you travel well, which is good. Oh, actually, I will take a leather head collar for travelling. It's safer, I didn't bring one, sorry. Right. Thank you, I've got loads at home, but I'd much rather travel in leather because you do hear horror stories so we have already had one little pit stop to check on you haven't we and you were absolutely fine good as gold still thinking i am the treat lady which is correct i generally am would you like one you can have half of one because you already had three today don't know how many stud muffins is here daily recommended quota but for ponies with porky bellies you look wet, but I think it is just your cup. Oh no, you're a little bit wet. It is warm, isn't it? Ponies with porky bellies are not allowed more than four in a day. <laughs> oh, it's spitting it out now anyway. It's spitting it out. He has just had a drink of water. And he's seeming quite content, aren't you? Right? Doing very good. You're going to be a bit sweaty. It is warm. But you haven't made a murmur and you've been tucking into your hay. Hmm, doesn't want more stuff muffins. That's absolutely fine. He says I'm not exceeding my quota. I know I have a round belly and I know I have lots of exercise to crack on with when we get home. I know why it is. It's because I gave him a handful of chaff as well and he's like, hmm, I think I'd rather have the chaff and he's dropped a bit on the floor. Is that what it was? Yeah, that's what it was. That is yummy. You like your chaff. Right, I'm happy. You're not... I don't feel hot to touch. I feel too hot. I just... I don't know actually, I think you might just be dark in colour. I'm not okay fay with your actual colouring. <laughs> I need to look back at my footage from earlier and see if you are just dark there or whether. You definitely don't feel soaked at all. Don't feel that warm. What we like? A little bit behind your ears. But very content, very happy. Eating away. Not made a murmur. I can see him on the camera, which is good. And yeah, probably about two more hours to go. Thankfully, we haven't hit hardly any traffic, which is good too. Mum's just gone in to get us both a drink and some polos, but <laughs> I'm not sure he needs them at the minute. He is happy. It was just in case he did get a little distressed, but he hasn't been. He's been absolutely good as gold, which bodes well for all the journeys that he will have to do from Cornwall potentially in the future when we start to get out competing a little bit once we've built his fitness back up. Here we are. You're a good boy, and here we are. Okay, these might be my favourite riding types, but they're not the best for driving for that long in because that seam is now imprinted in my leg. Oh, oh. oh. From being so hot as well. A your long, bum, long journey. And your bum is not as peachy as... Oh, thanks. <laughs> not as peachy as Louis. Less he Louis. has been an absolute angel though. He's travelled like a dream. What am I doing wrong? You coming out, my sweetheart? You've got to meet Banksy. I'm not really sure how to do this, but we'll play it as safe as possible. We'll let them say hello over the gate, I guess. I don't really know. Where are you? Been a little There's a little bit of a DIY going on in the background. DIY? Doors? Fixing the broken door. Fixing the fence for the horses to stay in. Good boy, you're okay. Sam, up away, babe. Sammy. Sammy. Good boy. 
New horse arrival. Good boy, Sammy. Good boy, oh, no, Sammy. You're probably a little bit scared. Good boy, Sammy. Say hello. Hey. Hello. Good luck, Sammy. He said he's got real grass and I haven't got any. If I could have sectioned this in half before I went, I'd have done that and then they could have been each side of the fence, but I can do that tomorrow. I just I didn't have time. It was such a spontaneous decision to go up there. You think he looks nice. You're not looking, putting your ears back or anything, are you? <laughs> He's more interested in saying hello, what is he? Rule number one. They feel like, I feel like there's not even any squealing, that they could just go out, but I don't know if that's a bit silly. I think he deserves to be I know able he to... deserves to go out, but I don't know. I think Banks should come in to let him just have a bit of downtime. Yeah, I do. Cause you... And then let them see each other over a fence. Well, be in stables together overnight if he has an hour or so out. I wouldn't normally keep Banks in at night at the minute, but... <laughs> Is that a bite you if you're going to nip me? I was being nice and giving you kisses. He just wants food. You're number one, my sweetheart. Don't you worry. You'll always be number one. Should we do swapsy, Sam? We'll uh, rendezvous again in a minute. Get them sorted. Things like, I'll teach him to load. Properly. <laughs> <laughs> follow him. He says, no, I don't need to go back in there. I've already been in there for lots uh, of hours. I've got that, I've got that. Yeah. So, right, Dinks, you stay there. This one can go out for a leg yeah. stretch. Thanks, you stay chill, mate, and I'll bring Dinks next to you. Oh, no. You don't want Dinks to come. Uh, oh. I don't want Dinks to follow him, no. No. Oh, I'm going to have a little roll in the nose. Oh. Dinks, open it to the bank, please. A dimple. Should have grabbed you. Oh, look at that trot. <laughs> Look at him move. Yeah, that's all that's that. Yeah, that's fine. So Dinks is going to stay in there, in there overnight, but he can stay in there and he can stay in there. He says, well, I want to be in there where the nice grass is. Said I'm not coming to be caught for yeah, another I'm trip, so thank nice you. Good boy, Banks. Do you want this? No. I want to get a picture to send to Tommy to say he's fine, but he's off. Oh, he's fine. We need to get our weeds done. Mad how quickly they've grown. Yeah. Well, I bet you've got a sensitive nose for buttercups, haven't you? I can't see still for a photo. Oh, 
little Banksy. I'm proud of you being a good boy. So it's 24 hours later, guys. Well, maybe 22. And I thought before ending the vlog, I would give you a quick little update of three happy ponies. I have decided to keep Banks and Dinks in together, separate from Louis, who you can tell is a native because he's eating the hedge, eating the trees. I don't know what tree that is. Maybe I should stop him eating the trees, but they're all quite content and happy. The fencing's on. I'm not actually going to try and get over it and go up to him because I don't want to get an electric shock on the old... I don't know. Am I agile enough? Let's try. Ready? I don't want to frighten the horses, though. If I get a shock... Oh, no. Do I want to do this on camera? Oh, did it. Yes. Louis. Louis, 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 Louis. It's good that you're in here as well, because it's going to be restricted. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be eating that, I'm afraid. Restricted grazing from trees. You're not meant to be eating trees, no. Especially not blossom. As soon as he moves, Banksy goes on high alert, like, oh, where's he going? I need to stalk him. But yeah, all good in the hood. Quite relaxed and happy. Back to the brambles now. Oh, stinging nettles. Why are you eating weird stuff? I have popped on Banksy's. Equilibrium head collar so that he's got a field safe head collar on whilst he's out just in case I do need to grab him if Banksy for, by any chance like jumps in over the electric fence and I need to rescue him. Are horses allowed to eat blossom? I don't know. Why do you want to eat that? There's grass over here. Come over here. Come over here and eat the grass. You've got a pile of hay out too. But yeah, I'm elated. I'm really happy. I think it's definitely the right decision. Um, one, because it gives Tommy the chance to enjoy having a horse-free year. So, Banksy, chill, chill, chill. See, Louis moves and Banksy's like, where's he going? I might need to go with him. Chill, chill, boys, chill. Yeah, it gives Tommy the chance to enjoy a horse-free year. It gives me the chance to look after a lovely pony and to decide whether three does work with my lifestyle, which I'm sure it will and I'm sure it does, especially in the summer. In the winter, might find it a bit trickier, but I am going to be reducing my hours in my other job even further too. So that will make it a bit easier to fit in riding and keeping fit both ponios as will the fact that my mummy actually had a little sit on him too and hopefully might even get back into riding again as well so yeah i'm a strong believer in everything happening for a reason and when i saw tommy's advert advertising him actually initially for sale why are you eating blossom i need to google whether they're allowed to eat blossom it's a bit odd wanting that is it sweet or something i might have to fence you away from the hedges Yes, when I saw Tommy's advert, oh my goodness, his moustache as well. Sorry, so easily distracted, but how cute is that? <laughs> I messaged Tommy and I was like, are you sure you want to sell him? Because out of all the horses at the All-Star Academy, as I said earlier, probably, this is the one that I would have loved to bring home with me. And it seems absolute mad to think that within less than a year, he has come to my house to live and is being my new ponyo for 12 months potentially longer who knows we will obviously see how it goes see what works for us see what works for tommy and see what louis likes best because at the end of the day him living his best life is what is the main priority look <laughs> oh reggie friends he's gonna love it here there's animals galore don't eat reggie though you're not allowed to eat reggie anyway this vlog has probably been plenty long enough i'm excited to get him fit not fat, sorry Tommy, but he is a little bit round. Although aren't all horses at the minute with this sudden lush sprouting of sugary grass. Banks is definitely ready to start getting back to full fitness again too. So hopefully lots of horsey content coming up in the pipeline. Oh look, Sam Sam's even venturing out now. Oh, this beautiful weather is so lush to spend outside with your animals. It's a good job Louis's good with having doggies in his paddock, isn't it? Hey? Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the kiss. Oh, even more exciting that in just over a week's time, we also pick up our new puppy. Didn't we? Our new baby girl, your friend Banks. Chill. Chill. Why do you want to chase him? 
It's like being very territorial, aren't you, Banksy Boo? Anyway, it's probably not the best idea that I sit here in this paddock with my Sam Sam. I'm going to get him out. I haven't ridden Louis today. I'm going to give him a chill day just to settle and then crack on. We're starting to up his fitness as of tomorrow. And yeah, hopefully get lots of horsey content for you guys soon. It'll be nice having a bit of variety, having both Banks, Dinks and Louis. And as I said, you will also have Puppy Spam. But you will always be my number one, won't you, mate? Yeah, yes, you will. And Reggie Roo. Oh, my goodness. Animals galore at this place, isn't it? Right. Over and out. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your support, as always. Stop it, you. Um, hope you are pleased with my decision in bringing Louis into our lives. And hope you are looking forward to following the content and our fun-filled journey together. But for now, I think Emily's just pulled up to come and meet him. So I'm going to go and meet her, bring her over here to say hello. And I will see you all in the next video, which will no doubt be very, very soon. But for now, bye bye.